Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about the differences between idle up and air mode and what motor stop means. And this is kind of a part one of a two-parter because uh, what I want to do is post a video about my personal preferences and how I use all of these things in my own setup. But I wanted to make sure that I had a video out there that actually explained what these terms mean for your FPV quadcopter. So I, I commonly hear air mode and idle up used interchangeably. Um, and I wanted to really address that because they are different things. I keep in mind everything that I'm going to be talking about is going to be mostly in terms of beta flight. Uh, the other systems like race flight and kiss, they have similar terminology, but what I describe might not line up exactly. So just keep in mind that I'm, I'm speaking from a beta flight experience, though there are um, very similar parallels. Now, when we fly our race and freestyle drones, there are times where we want to fly with really low throttle. Like for freestyle, there are lots of maneuvers where you want to like float over something inverted. And what that means is you'll pop up and you'll go upside down. And while you're upside down, you don't want to be pushing yourself toward the ground. So you drop the throttle stick all the way so that you minimize that thrust so that you carry momentum and float over something. If motor stop is on, then when you drop the throttle all the way, the motors will come to a stop, which means you lose control of your quadcopter. The motors aren't spinning, so they're not going to be able to stabilize you. It's not going to respond to your cyclic stick inputs. Cyclic means pitch and roll. It's not going to respond to the pitch roll yaw. It's not going to. You're not going to have any authority over the drone. You would actually be in complete free fall. Um, and I think there was a time where, where before people started to to actually um, set things up to prevent the motors from stopping, they would actually try to manually just not lower the stick all the way. They would drop it really low, but not actually hit the end stop. But I mean, that is nerve wracking because you move it just a hair too far and your motors are gonna stop and you lose complete control. And yeah, as soon as you move the stick back up, the motors will restart and you'll regain control, but you could be in some sort of death spiral. It's not good. So now one way to bypass this is to use idle up. Now this is something that you set up in your transmitter um, using a throttle curve. Meaning that when you flip a switch it changes the curve of the throttle output from what is standard which is just linear 0, 0, 100, 100, 50, 50, right, a linear output. You flip a switch and now um, when the throttle is 0, when the throttle stick is at the bottom Instead of putting out a zero output, it puts out something very, very low, like 5%. And then it regains its linear relationship, so it gets back up to 100s, 100s, 50, 50, but zero actually outputs 5%, if that makes sense. So that's what idle up is. Idle up is something that you set up in your transmitter, and it kind of tricks the drone into thinking that you aren't actually dropping the throttle all the way. So when you move the stick all the way down, your radio is still sending a small throttle command, which will prevent the motors from stopping. Now, air mode is, is something that's on the drone itself. It's something that's in the flight controller software. And now in beta flight, when you engage air mode, it actually bypasses motor stop. So people develop this misconception that the idle up and air mode is the same thing and it's not. They're doing different things even though they end up having like a similar byproduct, right? They, they, it prevents the motors from stopping with a motor stop and gauge, right? What air mode actually does is it improves the performance of your PID controller when you are at low throttle. So it's not something that just acts at zero throttle, it's actually all throughout low throttle. I like to think of it as like an anti-TPA. TPA is throttle PID attenuation and essentially when you're at high throttle it scales back your PID controller so it's not overreacting when your drone is in a, a state of high power output. Um, air mode does the opposite. In essence when your throttle is low it kind of boosts the authority of the PID controller. Now I'm not going to try to explain specifically how it does this behind the scenes in the code. I just want to explain that when air mode is turned on on your quadcopter, 
you have much more authority over your drone, um, both in terms of how uh, stable it is to external forces. So you want to throttle all the way down and the other commands just centered. If you're floating over something, not giving an input, it is going to hold its position and its trajectory much more stably than with air mode off. And it also is going to respond better to your input. So with throttle all the way down, if you give a roll command, it's going to have much more responsiveness and much more stability to your command than it would with air mode off. I'm going to show you some DVR footage here. I've got the graphical on-screen display of my Brain FPV flight controller to display a couple of things. You can see the flight mode and you can actually see my stick positions. So this is going to let you understand what I'm actually doing to the sticks as I'm flying to demonstrate the uh, points I'm trying to make. So. I'm currently in acro mode, so what that means is there's no auto leveling, but I don't have air mode engaged. So what I want to do is I just want to go up here and do some inverted hang times. And now look how much the drone is just kind of bobbling around. And see that my sticks aren't moving, so that's not me commanding it. That is the PID controller not having enough authority to keep the drone stable when it's in kind of like a free fall condition like that. Keep in mind that I always set my drones up with motor stop disabled, so as I'm doing this maneuver, the motors are not stopping. They are continuing to idle, so I'm not losing complete control of the drone, but it definitely doesn't have good authority. It's bobbling all over the place, and the sticks just don't feel as responsive as I would like. So now you can see that I have air mode turned on, and that is that is essentially a mode on top of acro mode, so the commands are just the same as acro mode. It's not doing anything other than changing the behavior of the PID controller. And look as I pop up and float upside down how much more rock steady the drone is. Just watch a couple of these passes, how little the drone moves in comparison to when I was flying with air mode off. And on top of that, what you can't see from the DVR is stick feel. This is purely something you have to experience that when you are in air mode doing low throttle maneuvers, the, the stick feel that you have is so much better with air mode turned on. It makes a really big difference. So what I'm getting at is air mode is much more than a simple idle up. It is something that improves the behavior of your PID controller and is going to give you much better performance for low throttle maneuvers, which is great for freestyle. A lot of how I fly personally involves going from high throttle to low throttle, back to high throttle, back to low throttle, and having air mode on ensures that the PID controller and the stick response is more consistent regardless of whether you're giving high throttle or low throttle commands, so you can do all the flowy things that you want to do. I hope this helps you understand what the difference is between a motor stop and an idle up and air mode. Like I said, I'm going to make an additional video that's about my personal preferences in regards to these things, so stay tuned to this channel within the next day or two for that. Also stay tuned to my main channel for flight videos and vlogs and all the, the regular adventures and stuff that I like to do over there. If there's anything about this topic that you still need a little bit more explanation on, leave a comment and I will do my best to address it. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you again soon.